Hey guys, so usually I vlog with the 11 to 22 mm, uh, but recently I got my hands on this, the Tokina 11 to 16. And today we're gonna talk about whether we can vlog with this. So as you can see from the size, the sheer difference of the size, uh, well, yeah, it's very different. Of course, the EFM series of a uh, 11 to 22 mm is very, very light. Whereas if you are talking about the Tokina 11 to 16, uh, it's quite heavy. And okay, yeah, I should stop doing that. So the weight of the Canon EFM 11 to 22 is actually 220 grams, whereas for the Tokina is more than double the weight. So this beast of a lens weighs uh, 550 grams. Uh, I don't know how much it weighs in pounds, so you guys got to do the whole conversion thing yourself or I'm just going to put it somewhere here. Now we're going to get a bit more technical. Uh, for this lens, for the Canon EFM 11 to 22, is an aperture of f 4.5 to 6. Whereas, Whereas when you take a look at the Tokina, it's an f2.8 all around, so no matter how much you zoom, it stays consistent at f2.8. And one of the good things that I really like is uh, that it's, it all works internally, so you see that it doesn't go up and down. Whereas when you use the 11 to 22, you can see that it's outside the zoom. You can see the whole thing right there. However, if some of you are actually using the Canon EOS M50 or any of the M series just like me because I'm using the M50, you will need an adapter. So for me, I'm actually using the Viltrox mount adapter for EF to EOS M. And actually with the adapter, uh, so I got to take this off, uh, with the adapter, it adds on to the height of the lens. So now if you actually use this lens with this camera that I'm using, it's going to make it front heavy. So this is the extra adapter right here. Yeah. So this is going to make your camera front heavy, so you got to be careful when you're holding onto it. So we're going to test out, it's getting, it's getting a bit dark outside, so we're going to try and test it out whether we can vlog with this lens or not. So I'm actually on the 11 to 22 right now, we're going to see the difference afterwards. So um, going downstairs to outside, and this is how it looks like on the F4.5 uh, on the 11 to 22. So the thing is, um, it might not work as well on this lens and I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy because there's a lot of restaurants outside at the uh, at Bustro Street. So the thing that I'm, I want to really really say is that uh, when you're using an f4.5 everything at the background looks uh, clear. You can actually see what, everything at the background. Like just give me a second let me just switch over so you guys can actually look at the moss behind me. So this is how it looks like on the F11 to 22. So I'm just gonna switch to this lens, and then we're gonna see the difference uh, that you, you know, on, on this lens instead. Okay, so now we're at F2.8. Uh, this is so this is how it looks like. Uh, it works better in low light, I believe. Um, and the thing is, you can actually hear the focusing. So the focusing is a bit uh, noisy. Not like this as compared to this. This is silent motor. However, for that, for this lens that I'm using is a bit noisy, so you, you can't really hear it when it's uh, when you're outdoors or when you're at a noisy area. So you, you can't really hear it, but it's there. So maybe we can go back later to the studio and then maybe we can hear the focusing on a vlog. Uh, when, when you're trying to vlog, it might be a bit difficult uh, when you can actually hear the focusing. So that might not be something that you want. However, uh, I, I feel like this lens, you can still use this lens to vlog uh, except it's a bit heavy, so there's something you might want to take note of. Sorry, I just realized I put everything on auto earlier, so now we are at 200 ISO 200 and uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, we are at 11 mm right now, so this is actually behind the studio. You can see that there's a lot of nice artwork that I can you know, actually show you guys. Um, and this is how it looks like, so you can see it gets a bit bright at the back. Uh, so just gonna bring it down just a little bit. So this is ISO 100. So this is how it looks like, and you can see the blurry background. And this is something that I like, and I, and I enjoy actually using this lens. Uh, only thing is it's a bit heavy, and when you are at 
a very quiet area you can hear the, the focusing yeah it gets a bit loud <laughs> so i'm not sure how you guys actually want to use it but like i said earlier this lens is definitely usable if you want to vlog oh and actually one more thing i totally forgot that uh you know the, the two kina 11 to 16 they don't have the image stabilization unlike the efm 11 to 22 um so you might want to be using a camera that has some stabilization uh, otherwise i don't really think it's you know necessary much because uh, you know you're using wide angle so it's not really you can see that it's not as shaky uh, because you're using a wide angle this is me going back up the stairs you can see the comparison just now um, when i was going down the stairs uh, but this is me going up going back up it's a bit darker than just now but uh Yep, this thing is acting up, performing better than the 11 to 22 because this is f4.5. Am I missing anything uh, from our list of clients? So just focusing on logo design. So this is a logo Check. design work. So it's Should you do the logo for that also? Yeah. Hey Google, activate strategy room. Okay, so the reason why I am now in the strategy room is because I wanted to test out how loud or, you know, soft the, the what do you call this, the focusing is like. Um, so let me just turn off the aircon. I don't know why I turn it on. I'm going to move the camera near and far and you guys can actually hear it for yourself. If you don't hear it as loud, it's because I'm using... Uh, an external mic which is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus uh, so either way just just have a listen I'll just be quiet and I have a listen okay so you can hear that there's a bit of ambient noise outside but I'm quite sure you guys can hear the focusing sound as well and if it doesn't really matter much to you I think it's totally usable if you plan on using the Tokina 11 to 16 for your vlog um, I mean I like it uh, at the end of the day it's entirely subjective entirely up to how you want your vlog to appear then uh, yeah uh, so anyway, it's been lovely. This is probably the first time I'm doing this kind of video. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, give me a like. Uh, drop me a comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.